art and character designs provided by Demon Artie. Be sure to follow her over on Twitter, at Artie Demon. Want to be first to have access to early artwork, concept sketches, exclusive art that can't be seen anywhere else? Then support Demon Artie over on her Patreon. Link in description below. Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I am your host, Crimson Sin. Be sure to follow us over on Twitter, at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. Back to reviewing Amphibia, up to episode 34, getting close to the end. I'm going to finish out the series, even if it's taking me forever, but I'm going to get it done. And uh, fiddle me this, I honestly thought this was going to be like a riddle-based episode, like they're going to run into some person in the swamps and it's a riddle, but no, it has actually nothing to do with that. It's like a um, reality television, like uh, the talent show things, you know, America's Got Talent and all that kind of stuff, and uh, The Voice. Blew, I hate these kinds of shows, but this episode, is, it's a short one, uh, not, not a lot of happens, but it... It has a lot of uh, emotions. I, I like the uh, Hop Hop is worried about the future of his grandkids. Lots of great jokes, but nothing to actually move the the narrative forward. But it's a fun episode. It opens up, and I guess they're going to like uh, they're going to the market, so they're going to go park. This is just a funny gag that doesn't mean anything. It just there's a parking spot, but it's not a very uh, not a lot of room there. So he backs in, but he's kind of like scratching his way in there to, on the shell. And that old uh, sheriff guy kind of looks at him, just shakes his head like, mm mm mm. <laughs> Al Pop is like, yeah. Like, what, what is this? Like, it's such a funny two old men. It's ridiculous. Okay. okay, everyone come back in 15 minutes, get your shopping done, then come back. Hop Pop's on his way to buy some ascots because <laughs> that's like his thing. We get to meet this new, this lady here, and she's the one who owns it. They're talking and everything, and. She mentions how, oh, my daughter got uh, accepted into Newtopia, which is a prestigious college. And it's like, oh, wow, that's great. She's like, yeah, well, you know, she's going to uh, do great things. And it, better time than ever because ascots aren't selling anymore. People just aren't buying them. And then Hop Hop's like, yeah, the, the vegetable stand isn't doing so great either. And he usually buys four ascots, but I guess he's only going to do three. So he's starting to worry, what about the future I'm leaving for my kids? They're not, or my grandkids, they're not, they're not set up for college. They can't just live on the farm if the farm isn't there anymore. And it's like, I want to do something more for them. So I'm like, oh, it's, it's actually having uh, a problem that most, you know, uh, parents, grandparents have. <laughs> little, little things like this just make me laugh. <sighs> sure wish I could give Sprig and Polly a better future. Oh. Huh? Now, what's over there? More ascots? <laughs> why Why would it be more ascots? <laughs> the, I guess they're going to hold a talent show, you know. Um, War, Words Got Talent, and they're going to have an episode film. I don't really film it. An episode talent show there. So if you win, you get to go on the big show and make all kinds of money, all kinds of stuff. And remember, we've seen uh, Sprig play the fiddle before. Pretty good. It sounds really nice. And then they're like... Oh, don't, don't, we're not going to do top hops. Like, ah, this is really stupid. You don't want to do that. But then Anne's like, hey, on our, in my world, we, we have something like this too. And when you do win, it's, uh, it's going to be great. You're going to, your life is set forever. And then Hop Hop has this fantasy. It's just, I love adult spring. Look how cool he looks. He's, he's all suave with his hair and everything. <laughs> old, like really, really old man. Hop Hop is ridiculous. I, 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 this is my spirit animal. It's this right here. Oh, everything is fine. Oh, I can die now. Oh, he's, like, he's gonna just die right there on the spot. And is still like helping them. And then in this little fantasy, uh, Polly's like, w "Why am I still like a little kid?" And Anne's like, "Why am I still here? Like, if this is way in the future, I should have gone home by now." He's like, "Shut up! I'm trying to die in peace." <laughs> I love these are the gags that make the episode just just wonderful. But he's like, "Oh, we can do this. You you know, uh, Sprig, you got the talent. We're gonna work hard as a team, and we're gonna make this happen. You're gonna have the future that you always wanted." But Sprig just wants to have fun, and that's like, oh, that's what it's going to be. He's going to push too hard, and it's going to not be uh, enjoyable for Sprig. It's going to just be like a chore. He's coming up with their their theme, and it's going to be the moth. And I'm like, <laughs> the most seductive, like, Hop Hop, you got some uh, weird things going on with you, but they just got to go along with it. The moth, one of nature's most seductive animals. Cool. Yeah. All right. And everyone has a uh, part of the team. Anne's going to make the costume. And I like this. Look how cool this looks. Oh, I'm going to go for this kind of look, you know, and everything's like, yeah, that's awesome. Polly's job is just to be morale officer. I want a morale officer hat. Polly's like, hey, I want to uh, be part of the, I want to be the talent. I can sing. And she has like this 
banshee whale. <laughs> like, it just goes, like, literally she could be an X-Men and, and this would be her mutant power. It, like, literally blows everyone's, uh, blows off, uh, Sprig's hat. And then their face is all wobbling. It, it's cracking windows and everything. I'm like, dang, Polly, that's ridiculous. Here's a little ditty I wrote by myself. <gasps> <laughs> Of course, that's not going to win any prizes. The hardest job is going to be Sprig because he's the one who's actually performing. And you can just see how intense Hop Pop is about this. He's like, whoa, th we're taking this way too seriously. No, no, you have to do this. It's going to be everything. Look at that worm out there. No future, no job. And he's like, Hop Pop, that's a freaking worm. It's not, <laughs> it's, it can't have a job or anything. But no, we have to go. And another montage. I would say this show has the best montages because the music's always fun. Lots of funny little gags. So, you know, very rocky as she's out drinking an egg or whatever. But it's like this nasty spider bug thing. But they're nasty anyway, so they, I don't know why it's a problem. But uh, <laughs> Anne's making the, the costume. Well, that's horrible. <laughs> Chucks it in the fire. Well, this is horrible. I saw the fire in the background. I was thinking, oh, what's going to happen there? It's just like, instead of trying to just burn it, it's awful. Then, you know, he has to practice all his faces, you know, cue, you know, everything. And he's not doing it right, but he doesn't even understand what he's asking for. He's practicing, but he's also practicing the fiddle while being, like, dragged around. I don't see how any of this stuff actually helps him get any better besides the actual playing of the music. Gets, they're getting chased by this giant mole swamp thing. And, you know, we're hearing him play, and it's pretty dang good. Here we go, the overburdened uh, parental figure. You made three mistakes. You got to be perfect. The only perfection is going to get you to the top. And he's like, you need to do 50 laps now. He's like, geez, the hot pop, we're not, I'm not even having fun anymore. You're just making this horrible. But he wants him to succeed, so he's pushing him so hard. So he makes him do the 50 laps. We get to the show. It's kind of cool looking. I like all the purples and uh, blues. It looks really nice. So the stage is all set. A giant bat's eating all the moths all around because the lights are attracting the moths. We get a little mini montage of like all the people trying out. We got a choir. They didn't sound that bad. Uh, some guy just tries to jump a flaming hoop and then, because this place is very backwater, so the two judges are like, ugh, geez, these freaking bumpkins. <laughs> the mayor tries to do something. They just poof, they just uh, springboard him out of there, which is dangerous. That could totally kill somebody. Then we get at the sprig and his like reveal, his little costume comes out. I'm like, oh, it's going to be awful because the first one that animated was terrible, but it's all sparkly and everything. And then they're like, ooh, ah, he starts playing his fiddle. And I want to play a little bit of the music. I know when it comes to music and copyright, I'll play like five seconds. It sounds pretty good. The music's actually great. And he's all playing. He's jumping around. He's dancing, doing flawless. And then even the judges are loving it. <laughs> Hop Hop's like, yes, we're doing it. Uh, he gets pulled up in the air and he's flying around. He's doing everything perfect. The crowd's loving it. Hop Hop tears in his eyes. It's gorgeous. Out of nowhere, a bat swoops in and like goes to eat him. I'm like, holy crap, he's going to die. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't just chew up because he's like in its teeth. So if this thing just chomped down, he's gone. They're like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What can we do? Hop Hop's looking around, uh, trying to figure out how to save his grandson. Remember the springboard. And when I tell you hit the springboard and they'll, they'll, he's going to go up there and at least try to fight this thing. They get up there. Again, the animation is so good in this. Even though it's very simplistic character designs, it's consistent. It's smooth. It looks great. <laughs> They get up there, they start fighting this thing. Uh, they can't really get it get it to let go. Then remember how Polly can do like her big giant yell, screaming, screams right in its ear, and then causes it enough to drop the bat, the bat drop to drop them. They're falling down and catches them, and then boom, that's the end of the thing. I'm like, oh, well, technically they still did a good job, <laughs> but this whole thing got attacked, so that's not their fault. Then we get the whole Spring's like, dang it. Hop, hop, I just wanted to have freaking fun. You made me do all this crap and almost got killed. And he's like, why, why did you do this? And this is the heart. Uh, you got to have heart. Funny comedy's great, but it's the heart that makes us love the characters. Then, you know, Hop Hop tries to explain everything that he saw in the shop about, you know, the Asgards aren't selling, uh, the vegetables aren't here. And he's like, and heck, in a couple of years, I don't even know if the stand will be around. <sighs> I just wanted to give you a better life than the one I can give you now. That's super sad. And even, you know, look at, look at, uh, Sprig's face, he can tell that, oh, he pushed me so hard because he wants me to have more. And it's out of love, not out of, like, you know, anything else. 
Hop, hop. My life is perfect the way it is. And as long as you're in it, my future will be pretty cool too. Oh. <laughs> and look at that. The tears. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> like a hop, hop, and may hug. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love every moment of this. I wish more shows had a heart like this. But they won. This uh, These two like newts. Like, oh, you, you did it. You're the... Uh, the most entertaining thing we've seen in a long time. Oh, your fiddle playing was amazing. But how did you train that bat to do that? They thought it was all part of the show. Like, oh, no, they're not going to be able to do that. So they won this big trophy. They, they're going to go on tour with us. We've got to show all of Amphibia that look how great this is. Look how cool your show is. But they declined respectfully. And I really like this girl's uh, design. She has really cool hair. <laughs> and they're like, no, nope, we're going to just... Uh, we're going to stay home with our family, but we're keeping the trophy because I guess apparently when they went shopping, like Anne spent way more money than they were supposed to. So they're going to use the trophy to get their uh, mortgage back. I thought this was kind of mean, but of course the, the, the mayor is an, he's an ass. So he uses the springboard to spring them out of there because, the, but they didn't do anything wrong. I guess the springboard's a little much, but they were just doing their jobs. But that was the end of the episode. Real quick, simple, a lot of laughs, a lot of heart. Didn't move the narrative forward, but it's fun to see these characters do funny things. But so, de but definitely filler. We've got the same thing in my world. It's a contest where regular people get on stage and try to prove they're special. That sounds potentially humiliating. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload. If you have any tips or story ideas, hit us up on Twitter at C15Podcast, or better yet, join our Discord server. Link in the description below.